So pretty massive wars just all broke out at the same time in the last video, and uh, this is this is big for the major powers of the world, like Germany, like Russia, like India, like USA, Canada even got involved in a war. I mean, things things were crazy in the last one. Now, one war did finish up, and that was the Malayan War versus Vietnam. Now, Vietnam's still around. They have three provinces left. So, uh, yeah, Malaya's kind of uh, taking their time, I guess. And they, they can do that, because China's not worrying about these nations. This is pretty much all Malayan territory. I mean, it's not guaranteed. I, they're, you know, China might eventually go after this stuff. But uh, for some reason, China's not worried about that stuff. They're kind of, I don't know distracted. They're doing other things. They're doing their own thing, I guess. Uh, and a new war did pop up, and it was actually Romania uh, versus Serbia. Yeah, so Romania trying to uh, do the final blow against Serbia. Austria has joined in, but I think Austria's uh, hands are kind of full. I don't, I don't think that they're really going to try to do anything here. Germany engaged a pretty big stack of uh, Turkish regiments, and uh, I, I wasn't sure if they were actually going to do that. Oh, Slovakia is kind of helping out with the one stack. But that's fine. Germany's going to go and send over a pretty, almost 150,000 men. Now, does Germany continue? Do they stay over and continue to kind of watch over their occupation of Yugoslavia? Or do they go down and go after Turkey? It depends. Now, how's Russia doing against uh, Ukraine? It seems to be going okay. I figured it'd be a little bit better by now, but it's kind of not. Who are these guys allied to? Uh, nobody super powerful. So Russia could take them over pretty easily as well. Yeah, this is going to be pretty one-sided. Now, where are the forts at? Okay, so there's a 45 stack going after a fort right now. Ukraine's just sitting there with a 31 stack. Not sure exactly who to engage just yet. Uh, let's go ahead and check on the American war. And also, there's the Canadian. Okay, so Denmark is completely under occupation of the Canadians. The problem is that there's still a pretty big stack that nobody really wants to engage. Denmark or Canada doesn't really want to engage, engage each other in mainland Canadian territory. And what just happened? Uh, they lost occupation of something. At least they lost occupation of, of, uh, of Havana. Not sure how Not sure how or why. Maybe they got distracted. Um, the US AI seems to be very, very broken, I guess, to say the least. They've got some issues. They've got some pretty big issues. Congo versus the uh, Democratic Republic of Congo. Let's see how Ethiopia grew. I know that they were involved in a few wars, so there are a few African wars. Yep, they did. They they took a pretty big bite out of Sudan, as well as now so South Sudan, Sudan has decided to join in. They have Mazbamke uh, on their side, but they're going to have to get, obviously, military access through Uganda or Zambia to help out against the Dominican Republic of... De oh my gosh, the De Democratic Republic of Congo. I always say that wrong. Wow. But look at the forces they're facing. South America, South, South Africa is involved in this one, so that is a problem. So actually, you know what? South Sudan's going to be absolutely fine. Wouldn't be surprised if Algeria or Egypt decide to kind of finish off, you know, finish off the final blow here to Sudan. Look at that, Ethiopia. Ethiopia kind of back in the game here, which is smart. That, this, is, this is valuable territory by the Horn of Africa. Actually... Who is, uh, I didn't even realize Ethiopia was at war with Somalia now. Wasn't paying attention enough, I guess. So yeah, this could be kind of a one-two punch here. Growing up north, and then bam, completely sieging out the Horn of Africa. Smart move there. And then we, yeah, of course we do have uh, some big stuff going on still in West Africa. We've we've discussed how, how insane this region has been. It's been constantly at war with itself. No powers have really gotten up to be kind of big enough. Nigeria is really strong. If they were to grow a little bit more to the west, they'd be in a good they'd be in good shape, but they're not at war right now. So South uh, South Africa, how can you be involved here? Oh, they actually separate pieces. So yeah, Congo is just going to go after the Democratic Republic of Congo by themselves, which which obviously they'll I think they'll be fine. I don't know why they haven't engaged and moved off to the to the east a little bit, but that's fine. I'm not gonna I'm gonna question them. Boom! South Sudan is the main Sudan. It looks like now. Uh, Sudan is barely around. They, stu they do still have their alliances. They are at war. Um, yeah, they do have their alliances, though. Let's we'll see what Kenya takes from this one. Yeah, Zambia, South Africa. Oh, South Africa's in their own separate war. Wow. That is crazy. Yeah, people are trying to just destroy the Republic of Congo. Looks like that to me. Uh, Germany's at 27 war score. We saw this. Ethiopia and Somalia have broken out. Ethiopia's going to win that one more than likely. Uh, so far, no definitive, nothing definitive has happened in South America. Yeah, no, they're fine. Peru actually 
somehow got out of that war. Venezuela was sieging out all of northern Peru. Uh, they seem to be just fine. Did Argentina take something? They look a little bit different. No, but yeah, they look they look fine. Now they have to worry. They have to push back Chile, but I don't think Chile really has that big of a of an army. Yeah, there's a 35 stack. That's kind of close, but more than likely, I don't think it's going to side one way or the other. So I think Peru should kind of hold on to their power here. All right, America, you are you have made some massive mistakes. You have made some pretty massive mistakes here. It is kind of a chain effect, though. I mean, I think I think that when when the USA kind of declared war on West Indies, that freed up Germany. Well, that that forced Germany and Italy to go to war, and I think that kind of made the Germans a little bit more free. They're like, okay, now I've got you know two of my most powerful enemies or two like powerful neighbors, enemy neighbors are at war in a pretty big war separately. I feel more free to do whatever I want. They you know maybe they'll be distracted. I don't know if the AI thinks like that, but um, I'd like to think that they do think like that. Russia still has a long way to go. They're going after kind of, uh, well, I mean, there's they already have like Crimea and stuff like that, but they're going to go after more. I'm imagining they really want no more provinces in the north of the north of black uh, north of the Black Sea, which would be smart. It looks like they're actually going after those sieges first instead of going after some place like Kiev, which where is Kiev at? Am I smoking crack? Kiev is not Kiev is not a province. I know it's the city. I know it's a city. I guess it's not a province. I, I don't know why. I thought it was a... I could have sworn it was a province here. Well, anyways, uh, Turkey is engaging the Russians. It's a small force, but they are. They still are over here. How's Romania doing? Did Romania peace out with Serbia? Yep, they did. They peaced out with Serbia. Serbia is still around, but they have very small provinces. They've got, I think, only one province, actually. So, yeah, Romania is looking good. So that war ended. Uh, the African wars are still almost, it's almost a continental war in Africa right now. So now it's just Germany, uh, versus Yugoslavia and Turkey. They separate peace to everybody else, which is a smart move. Ethiopia at 10% war score. Uh, Congo at 48 versus the Republic of Congo. Canada's at 11 war score. Oh, I didn't realize Russia was at war with Sweden too. Hmm, didn't realize that. Now, has India really contributed anything? I don't think they are. That's part of the reason why this isn't as one-sided as, as we, I think, predicted initially. Because India has yet to... Wait a second, where'd they go? Did they get military access through... Did, did the Islamic State really give it military access to through India? Yeah, and they're actually going to just co totally skip over Turkish lands. They're going to go help out Russia in Ukraine, I think. Yep, they're going up north. Ooh, Ukraine, you're in trouble now. Russia might not have had too much luck in the beginning, but now it's going to be uh, pretty crazy. Yeah, now it's going to be not so good. All right, what else do we have? We have looks like we've got these wars are kind of smaller. They're getting a little bit smaller and smaller. Separate pieces going on around kind of all over the place. USA still only at four war score. They really want this bad. They've been at war for, I think, quite a long time. For an AI, usually these wars end pretty fast. And maybe they only end pretty fast for like bigger powers. Like some like the USA were like top two nations easily in the world. Um... But they've had some problems, and the AIs have has had def definite problems. I think it's because they've had to really utilize the Navy, and I think Great Britain is, you know, giving a run for their money. Great Britain is here blockading, even if it is only like, what, like three ships or six ships or something like that. They are. I think, I think they're making, it's making the Americans have a tough time with this war, that Navy. Wow. They did make a difference. I, and I, it was only Great Britain. I don't think I saw any sort of Italian fleet over here. I don't think they kind of removed it from the Mediterranean. Yep, boom. So Canada peaced out with Iceland, or Denmark, I guess I should say, and they grabbed a hold of Iceland. I'm sorry, Greenland. And it's green, Canadian green of the of this, you know, particular map mod or, you know, whatever. Canada in this scenario is green, so it perfectly matches Greenland. I like it. Helps me remember. So I thought they'd take a little bit more than that. I thought they were going to completely control, you know, all of Western Greenland. But yeah, I still think it's pretty interesting Canada's not looking so good. I'm sorry, Denmark's not looking so good. And if Canada wants, they can easily take out Denmark pretty easily now. The truce is going to end in 2001. No, two, 2103. So they still have about seven years of truce. Denmark could maybe survive. They've got to get out of here, though. They've got to do something. They've got to go after Iceland or somebody. I'm not sure. Six war score now for the USA. Russia's only at two war score against, uh, against Ukraine. 
Germany's at 30. Liberia is not doing so well anymore. Uh, what happened to the... Oh, here it is. It's completely sieged out. Wow. Yeah, not looking so good. And actually, the Congo, I think, are going to be the ones to take to be the most successful in this one. Because they're the ones that occupy this stuff. They're just waiting. I don't know if they're waiting for that stuff to tick up, if they're waiting for Sudan to separate peace. I'm, I'm not sure. I also want to see what Germany's going to take here. Germany's been pretty aggressive in what they've been taking so far. So is Russia, though. So is India. Yeah, India is here. So you're talking... Yeah, now it's, now it's one-sided now. Now that India's finally gotten military access through pretty much uh, the Islamic State and Armenia is all they needed. Ukraine will probably go down in... I mean, they're not going to go down, but I'm saying that they're probably going to get fully occupied with, uh, with all these forces, I would say so. Because Turkey, I don't think it's going to contribute much anymore. I think Turkey... The damage has already been dealt to Turkey. Uh, they had a fight. They fought a little bit of Germany, which I, I don't think they wanted to, but they fought a little bit of Germany in the West. And uh, I'm, I'm thinking that maybe India or Russia kind of cleaned up a few of the roaming regiments after that. But yeah, no, Russia definitely owes Germany for going after Turkey like that. And yeah, that's nice of India kind of giving up all those occupations. They need to take out these last few stacks that are kind of running around doing whatever they want. Yeah, but clearly Russia's going to get quite a bit. Actually, they're only at 7 war score. They need to wait a little bit longer. Congo at 53 war score. Ethiopia still is not to... They have yet to piece out Somalia. Even though they have 70 war score. Pretty one-sided there. So Somalia might be gone. No, maybe not. Maybe not. They're not going to be gone. They're still... Actually, wow. I didn't realize this small region holds four provinces. Oh, bam. Dang. Uh, I don't know how... a. Doll got released. Were they always here? Maybe they were always there and I just... Yeah, you know what? They probably were and I just looked over them. Ethiopia's looking good now. Ethiopia's looking real good. Uh, they're allied to Saudi Arabia and Algeria. Egypt's allied to uh, Ethiopia and Algeria. Also allied to Italy. Interesting. Yeah, so now this is where Africa is going to start, start to get really interesting. I mean, there's some pretty big forces now in Africa. A lot of the smaller nations are getting eaten up. Congo is going to be looking pretty good soon here. Remember Nigeria, though. Do not forget about Nigeria. They easily have almost 150,000 men in their military. It's a pretty big deal there. Is Peru involved in another war? They sever peace Chile, and they seem to be fine, but they are... No, they're not involved in another war, but Brazil is. Oh my gosh, the USA actually made it down to Brazil. I was like, what is this blue? Who's at war with Brazil? What's going on here? Maybe that's why. Maybe the, U Maybe the U.S. has been too distracted going after other nations. Did they ever try to send anything over near the, near the British Isles? I don't think they did. I don't think I saw any blockades or anything like that. I would have been really, really shocked if they did something like that. There goes Russia now with 11 war score. Slowly but surely. Yeah, the occupation of... Ukraine is about to be over. Then once Ukraine is done and they're fully occupied, I'd be worried for Turkey because India is going to go straight for Turkey. That's just how the AI is programmed. I don't know if Russia will. Well, Russia has military access through Armenia too since India got it. So they could, they could do something like that. Oh yeah, now it's just a landslide. All right, so what does Russia take here? Again, Russia with their extreme aggressive, uh, aggressiveness. I mean, they're going hard. Remember, Russia's really low on the score list, so they have to do something to catch up to the Europeans like Germany and like Great Britain. Uh, remember, Great Britain is number one. They're leading. But the problem is that uh, Germany seems like they're making advances. Russia seems like it's making advance, advancements, but not so much Great Britain. The, Car this Caribbean is, this, the, Car the Caribbean is going to the West Indies. It's not their own lands. I mean, I guess it's, I think colonies contribute to a score, potentially. I'm not sure. But, uh, but yeah, no, this stuff is not super strong either way. Uh, all right, so, yeah, the peace deals have not happened yet. Congo is still waiting for the Republic of Congo. Nothing else. And, actually, the USA is really starting to get wrecked here. Uh, so, Brazil pushed the USA out of South America. And uh, Great Britain has actually landed in the West Indies defending uh, Havana. And uh, there's, there's still a small force here, a 15 stack that can't deal, can't finish the siege. I don't know how they were able to drop off so many British troops. How were they able to kind of navigate through the American navies? Wow. Yeah, so it looks like maybe America's not as strong as they think. They declared that war, maybe th thinking it was going to be pretty one-sided. But no, look, that's negative eight war score. Wow. 
I would have never guessed that. I felt like the Americans could take on the entire world and be fine. Especially since, you know, all the nations they were at war with, they didn't really border. The West Indies weren't going to do anything to mainland America. And I don't think anyone is going to do anything to mainland America. I just am surprised that it was pretty much... I mean, Brazil helped out a lot too. I don't think Italy really did much though. I will say that. I don't think Italy did that much. Let's watch uh, Africa once again. And whoa, 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 whoa. How did, uh, how did this occupation switch to Zambia? Maybe maybe Sudan unseized this and then Zambia came in there and, and, and swooped it up. I mean, smart move by them. Oh, South Africa just peaced out. They just ate something. Angola. Who's, is Angola allied to anybody? How are they still around? They're not allied to anybody. It's one province. I mean, it's that's pretty surprising. There's actually a lot of nations that I'm surprised are still around. There goes uh, Congo eating up at least, I think, two provinces away from uh, Republic of Congo. And Zambia is probably going to do the final blow. That'll be it, right? Uh, no, they need to go after one more. Actually, two more provinces. I didn't realize there was two here. Rwanda is still around. I didn't even realize that. Rwanda is still around. They're very small, though. West Africa's still pretty crazy. Okay, so some wars peace, some wars have ended. None of the big ones that we, we've been kind of focusing in on, though. Poland, at, at after the Czech Republic, as well as Sweden, Savoy, and Belarus, I think. I'm probably butchering that. They've already got, they already got 33 wars. We must have missed this. Did we miss this? Or is it that Poland's just rolling them over super fast? I mean, I know the Czech Republic isn't really, like, huge or anything like that. Maybe that's why. Uh, actually, India is here helping out. Helping out Poland. I don't know. Is Poland allied to India? Why is that happening? I have no idea why that's happening. Yep, full occupation for Ukraine. Or under... For Russia, under... With Ukraine. India, I think... It, they they didn't do what I thought they... Uh, yeah, they are. India... Wait, 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 wait. Why are they black flagged? This Indian regiment is black flagged. I'm not sure why. Well, either way, so Poland's looking good. Uh, this would kind of defy the Germans. This would definitely kind of build up some much-needed power for Poland because Germany's growing so much right now. Obviously, Poland's got to be on on Germany's like next hit list, I guess you could say, after this. How's Turkey doing? I imagine Turkey's not doing so well. I mean, they tried. I, I they, they tried. They got some alliances, though. Dang. Kaz wait, wait. Did Turkey really ally to China? Yeah, that's crazy. How did they get so many alliances up? That would be a huge war if that ever happened like that. If that ever broke out, something like that ever broke out, that'd be crazy. All we're really kind of focusing on is Russia, USA, and Germany, as well as the Polish war. Really want to see what Poland's going to take. Did Oh my gosh, Zambia didn't take anything. Wow. I don't know why nations do this. Uh, Malaya did the same thing. They could have easily taken over Vietnam completely, but they didn't do it. Uh, yeah, again, Peru's looking fine. Everything else is normal here. Yep, everything else is normal in East Asia. Man, the world's interesting now because there is like very, I mean, it's getting blobby. I know it's not a word. I, I, I always use that term for some reason, but man, the world is getting really, really blobby. So you're talking about like really a handful of nations, I'm thinking. A little bit sooner than I thought. It hasn't even been technically 100 years yet. And we have all this stuff that's going on. So Liberia is not doing so well against Guinea. Guinea's going to take some stuff here, I think. And that's actually, Guinea really needed that. Technically, they desperately needed more land because they, they weren't looking so good, but they, you know, they got the alliances down and that helped out quite a bit. Finland's dealing with some rebels. So it looks like we're going to see the results of a lot of these big, big wars, especially in Europe. Uh, and we're going to see what happens from there. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.